long time ago, I wanted to make my own Super Mario World ROM hack. And I might show you the image, right now, of what it would have looked like. Hey there, it's Beta Squared, and welcome back to more Super Mario World. We're gonna head into the Force of Illusion today. And this is a tricky level because it contains a bunch of secrets. And I'm gonna try and stay, like, calm and collected this episode because you know what? I wanna have fun with this game. Now, about a month ago, which was actually, like, two days ago in my perspective, I posted a video of a Left 4 Dead thing, and if you watched it, you'd understand my little woes and stuff. But, essentially what I was saying is, I like playing video games. Now there's a secret down there. I don't remember how to get it though. I don't remember how to get it. I'm gonna actually just, I, I can't use Yoshi to get it, so I have to just abandon the poor little guy. This might be the first episode in this series actually, with better audio. Not a very hard level, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut back to here after this cutscene. And I am back here with Yoshi. Apparently there is a Yoshi in this level. I do realize on my emulator I can actually rewind and fast forward, but I try not to because I just... I don't want to cheat. I want I want to keep this playthrough, you know, non-cheaty as possible. But with that, we have finished the first level twice in Forest of Illusion. And now we head on to a swimming level. A very evil swimming level. I think I might have to abandon Yoshi for the most part, because... Well... Goody. I'm... I'm hoping that... Oh, that's the button I was trying to do. I was trying to hit Y, but it wasn't working. Uh-oh, 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 okay. Swimming levels do not tickle my fancy, like, at all. I'm gonna try and speed through this because this is quite honestly not the greatest level here. But these little blocks make it. Never mind. Oh, that, that makes this better. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, the secret should be somewhere obvious. Like, very obvious. I know this game kind of runs on 60 frames per second, and you're watching at 30 frames, because I feel like watching videos in 30 frames feels better. But I like playing games in 60, or at least close to. I don't know, it's, it's my preference. If you guys want 60 frames, just make a comment. I'll consider it. I believe, yes, right over here is the secret. It's very obvious. You can't miss this. So I will come back to that point in level and show off the rest of it. Then I will do the blue switch. Okay, I'm just gonna get this little block. And trying to avoid my fated death. I think this is literally the end of the level anyway, so there's not much to show off. Other than, you know, that charge and shock. That screams and hurts my ears, actually. Because that is not good. <laughs> there's a lot of secret levels here, and like, a lot of cuts. Like, I think every level here is a red level, minus like one or two. But now, for the 
final, the final Switch Palace that we can never come back to because you can't. I gotta wait for. Oh. Oh, well, I messed up. Oh, I get what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to grab the coins, then I was supposed to hit the blue, s the silver switch. Oops. But we have hit the blue switch, which turns the vanished blocks into solid blocks, and our progress will be saved. I gotta try and be more enthusiastic here. It's it's kind of being like bland and boring. Like if you've been watching this this whole series, then I applaud you for getting through my horrible boringness. But now we are in this stage, which is quite awful for its secret exit, because the secret exit, I believe, is the actual exit out of here. I kind of want that. Oops. I'm getting confused with the, my controls again. I do believe you need to be Big Mario in order to actually get the secret exit. And I kind of want to try and stay Big Mario for as long as possible. Because I know it's somewhere around here. And those bombs do not help. Like, at all. It's somewhere around here. Oh, God. I believe it's that pipe, actually. Yes. There you go. Just barely made it. Obviously, I will cut back to where I left off. But this is the exit to the forest because everything is disappeared. But we're not done yet. I will see you then. Okay. I believe this is pretty much the end of the level. A lot of these secret exits do take place at the very end of the level. Unfortunately, I can't do much about it, but it means it's easier for me because the editing will be shorter. Now this ghost house has two exits, and it's kind of infamous for that because this is the one ghost house in the game that people have the most trouble with. Now, are there... There's a lot of booze here, and they're quite scary, and, and going to hurt me. Ooh, a feather. Now, I just gotta remember how to get to the secret exit. And not get hurt. Give me that feather, I want the feather. I said I want the feather, but I said I didn't want to get hit. Okay, that might have been a bad idea. Very bad idea. Oh, these ghosts are gonna kill me. Okay. As if that blue door was not obvious itself. I don't know where the other door takes me, but if we head back into this direction... Oh, okay. I'm gonna cut back to where that door was, because there's something beyond that door. And I'll see you as soon as this little cutscene happens. Now, instead of going into this door here, we want to just skip right past it, past this dragon coin. Really? Hmm. 
There should have been a big boo block in that door so you were unable to see it, but that was the secret exit. And it's a very stupid secret exit because you'll see in a moment. It just creates a path back to your regular path, which is bothersome. And now for this level, we have an evil Lakitu. But I think I'm gonna need Yoshi, mainly because there is a secret somewhere. And I don't want to get hit with, uh... I don't remember where the secret is. I know it's obvious, but I believe it's a pipe floating in the air somewhere. Somewhere, I don't remember. Okay, well... That wasn't obvious, I don't know what was. Oh, I did, I did forget that Yoshi is required for a secret exit at some point. Oh, it's our first gold level here. I'm gonna go back in here and do the secret exit, I'll see you then. Okay, let's actually do the normal exit. I said secret exit back there, but I corrected my mistake. Probably through editing or not, I don't know. But if we keep going down here, something good is bound to happen. I did kill the lag too with a star, so I don't think we'll see him anymore, and that's pretty much the end of this level. And it just leads us right back to the pond. Now this whole the whole point of this world was to actually trick the player. Think they're stuck in this world forever. But now we go into the forest secret area. And it's quite boring actually. It's it's just me sitting on this platform and waiting while Koopas are everywhere. Now I know dragon coins do absolutely nothing. They actually only give you a life if you get them all. I'm not even sure if you get a reward for getting them all in every single level. But, most people didn't know about that secret exit until the GBA remake, because if you, I think if you hit select in the GBA remake, it would show you this, like, the number of secret exits and the, how many star coins you've collected in that level, or if you've collected all of them. I mean, yeah, I don't think I needed that blue switch. Very boring. Oh, wow. I was gonna say, if this continues on for like another four minutes, I might as well just fast forward right through it, but it's done. And now we can finally leave the forest once again. And I'm gonna do this Force Fortress. And I'm gonna head to the castle and we're gonna be done with today's episode because a lot has happened here and a lot of editing has happened. And I pretty much broke my promise with, oh, I'm gonna try and keep these to 15 minutes. I lied. I obviously lied. I like the whole one episode equals one world format. I've done it in Super Mario 64. I'm gonna do it here. It's just easier to, like, track down which world and which place you got things done in, instead of having to... I almost died right there. Instead of having to go through... Like, oh, I wanna figure out how to get out of here, or do this star, or find this secret exit. It's all in the same episode. You just have to scroll through it. Uh, that was death, I think. Oh. Goody. Oh. God. Damn. That's a one- Oh! <gasps> Take that, give it, give it to me. I love, I love feathers. Feathers are delicious.
And as soon as I say that, I obviously get hit. How ironic. Now, I believe on the other side, if you had the feather, you could actually get a bunch of 1-ups. And these Resnor are going to actually kill me if I don't get on the platform in time. Thank god they're, they're stupid, and they don't anticipate the angle of which this thing is moving. And with that, I don't believe there are any secret exits in fortresses. Yes, I will continue and save, but I will not go into the star road as that is left for a later episode. So we're gonna go back to this castle and hopefully not die, but I don't know whose castle it is. Roy, he's back in Smash 4, but as a Koopa and not a Fire Emblem character. I know... I, I, I always fucking rip on my friend for saying Roy was back in Smash 4, but was he? He's not even a good character in Melee. He, like, they make him better in PM, but that's pretty much it. Man, I hate these blocks. I also don't have, like, a power-up I can possibly use to protect myself. Goodbye, Potobo. You will not be missed. Oh, god. I also gotta watch out for the... The horribly... Fading away ones. Is that it? Yeah, there's nothing down there. Now, if you want that one up, you can go for it, because I'm not crazy. Guess I'll be back. Okay. Well, that was really pointless on my part. I always die before the boss. This is Roy. He's not pink. He is blue. And he's not too bad. He's already dead! And that is the end of World 5. In the next episode, we'll be taking on World 6. And that one is not too bad. It's actually probably a lot easier than Forest of Illusion, because there's not a bunch of secret exits they have to rely on. Uh-oh, it didn't blow up. One of my favorites. Mario found his way through the Forest of Illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle Number 5 onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. So if you've enjoyed, thanks for watching.